Hi everybody, we're working through our chapter on rationals. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, uh, at, a, at a function here and we're going to find everything, okay? So at this point here we're going to also consider the point discontinuity and everything that might happen here. So the very first thing we got to do, well first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this thing. So here's the function that we're working with. The very first thing that we want to do here is factor and simplify this. So this is going to be y equals x squared plus 5x, that's just a, a binomial, it's got a common factor of x, so that'll become x times x plus 5. And then my denominator here, x squared plus 7x plus 10, is going to be x plus 2, x plus 5. Now, I can see that there's a common factor of x plus 5 in the numerator and denominator, which means those two will cancel. And so, now I, I should actually write it like this. So I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be really, really technical with this one. This means at this point here that this is approximately equal to x over x plus two. Now the, way, the reason why I say it's approximately two, or actually maybe, maybe that symbol's not even the right one. Maybe what I should be doing is doing like this. It's equivalent to this one. They're not equal to each other because although x plus five over x plus five is equal to one for most values of x, if x equals negative five, this becomes zero over zero in which case I can't cancel that. So this is equivalent to this. It's it, as long as I do not allow x to equal negative five. As soon as I write that, write that little exception here, ah, then they become equal. And so now look at what I'm left with here. This was, I had to write this because my final simplified form does not have the restriction that x cannot equal negative five. That came from the simplifying. So that is going to be related to my point discontinuity. So if I come over here to our point discontinuity, I know that the point discontinuity is going to have negative 5 um, as its x-coordinate. When I look at the final value of this thing, I know that this thing is going to be undefined at x equals negative 2. So that's one of the things to consider in my, sorry, in my domain. x cannot equal negative 2. And additionally, I've already stated in the problem here that x can't equal negative 5. So I'm going to put those two down. x can't equal negative 2, negative 5. The negative 5 I've already identified as part, part of the point discontinuity. The negative 2 is going to come up here and is going to become equal to my vertical asymptote. Okay? Now, the next thing that I want to do is compare the, the degrees of my simplified form. The, the numerator has a degree of 1, the denominator has a degree of 1. Uh, this plus 2 here is basically going to be just a, a throwaway little term here. This is basically going to be x over x when x gets really large and those cancel to give you a horizontal asymptote of y equals 1. Basically what we're doing here is when the degrees are the same, you just take the leading coefficients 1 over 1 and compare them. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to take a quick look at here are the x and y intercepts. Um, in this case right here, the x intercept is going to be when y is equal to 0. Now just consider this. I've got x divided by x plus 2, and this is going to equal 0. Well, the denominator doesn't do it. Dividing by some number will never create a value of 0 here. So this is only the numerator that can produce that. So the only way this thing can equal zero is if this one value up here is equal to zero. And so that means our x-intercept would be zero. Likewise, to get our y-intercept, if I get rid of the zero there, get rid of our y-intercept, I make x equal to zero, which is zero divided by zero plus two, or zero divided by two, which is, again, y-intercept is zero. Okay, good. Now the only thing that we're missing here is the y-coordinate of our point discontinuity. Well to do that what we're going to assume here is we're just going to as assume that this function actually does not have this restriction. What point would this be going through if we ignored that? So plug in negative 5 and that becomes negative 5 over uh, negative 3. So this is going to end up becoming 5 thirds. And now finally I can go down to my range and if I look at uh, the horizontal asymptote and the y coordinate of the point discontinuity, I can say y cannot equal 1 or 5 thirds. That's the connection that we need to make uh, for the diploma.